begin. Okay. Hello, I'm Corey Nicole Boris, the Buzz CV. How are y'all doing today? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm very excited to be interviewing you all today. Um, I personally like really love, you know, we get to see a snippet of it, of it in the whole link. So I thought you all did amazing. So I do have some questions and some things that I did notice throughout the, um, you know, the film. So say you can answer first. How do you feel that you know, because heartbreak in high school, it feels like the end of the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, it feels like, you know, you're, like, might be falling apart. Like, you know, people have different friend groups. So what advice would you give to fans, you know, that'll be seeing this um, film just about, like, to keep moving on, to keep, like, going, to not let stuff hinder you, of course, to achieve any type of dream that you might have at that moment? Yeah, I, I mean, as far as heartbreak goes, um, just remembering that, you know, it might feel like the end of the world. It might feel like you're the only person that's ever felt this this great pain or, you know, even not heartbreak, whatever, whatever um, sort of pain that you're struggling with in your life. Um, just remembering that it always it, it will always pass. Um, it may not always go away completely, but it, it will pass and this moment will pass. Um, and to think about all the times that you've, you know, you've uh, recovered from something before and, and gone up, came out the other side, okay, and that you can do that again and just trusting that you have that ability to, to move on. And I forget the rest of your question, but yeah. No, that was, that was, that was very much so spot on. Okay. And even Jacob, like, how do you feel when our, you know, audiences of fans are going to be watching you go through, of course, the motions and just figuring out life, you know, in this period of your time? Because some people have been in the exact same predicament with how they might have felt. Yeah, I think it's, it's honestly, it's just really tough to be a teen. <laughs> you know, I think... Um, there are so many pressures and expectations uh, that other people put on you and that you put on yourself. Um, and you have to try to somehow balance that with like trying to figure out what you yourself want mm -hmm. um, out of your own life. And um, I think Styx is going through a lot of that. And uh, and um, I think he also has this fear from like his his mother's like uh, battle with cancer, you know, mm -hmm. and like, I, I don't know, I think it's um, just being young is hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, being young is very hard, <laughs> as we see that all the time on social media. That's like one of the main topics discussed. So, you know, Jacob, what is something that you want fans to take away from your character solely? Like, is there something about your character that you really like love to portray? Or was there something about him like that was very vulnerable? How did you feel? Yeah, I think I, I related to Sticks in a lot of ways. I think um, I felt many of the things that he feels when I was in high school as well. And um I guess the thing I want people to take away from it is like um, I think there's a there's there's so much value in this story because there's a lot of different perspectives uh, that are being told fully and I think it's I want people to watch this and say like oh I I should really like look deeper into that person you know and try to see them a little bit more fully themselves. No, I definitely agree. And Sadie, what do you think was the most challenging scene for your character to have to portray? Um, when I look back at filming, one of the hardest, one of the more challenging scenes, but also one of my favorite scenes to film was, um, sort of that last, not the very last scene between Styx and Danny, but, uh, the one at the car where kind of everything comes to light and, and uh, everything's out on the table now and they're kind of saying goodbye and, um, and having this big breakup moment and, it, and it's painful and it's awful. Um, that was, that was definitely, uh, you know, an important scene. That's like, if there's a there's a climax there for Danny's character and, and her arc in this story. Um, and uh, it was amazing because I had Jacob by my side to do to do it with me. And he's a great, great scene partner. And I have fond memories of filming that scene. However, while we were filming that scene, very important um, and sad scene, um, I did accidentally lock everyone out of the car that we were filming in. I locked the car and we could not get in it for 20 minutes and the sun was setting and it was horrible and it was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> but we got the scene okay, done and uh, it was fine. So, so that's kind of yeah. No, story. I mean, no, I definitely agree that both of you will have like great like on camera chemistry. I felt that that family theme and even like you know just overall love theme was very much so prominent in the film. So, like my last question would be for you both, Jacob. You can go first. What do you feel about the family theme being portrayed throughout the film? Did you feel like it was more emotional or more of like serious tone? How did you feel about that family aspect? Um, I think, uh, family is just really complicated and messy. And I think, um, I think there's a lot of comedy that can come from that. And there's a lot of, you know, real drama that can come from that. And, uh, I think that's what's really beautiful about 
about this film um, and about the family aspect of this film is there's there's so much humor. Uh, you can have such a good time watching it, but at the same time, there's a lot of uh, real things that are touched on. And um, yeah, I think it's it's uh, yeah. And how did you feel, Sadie? Uh, yeah, I think the, the it's, what's so special about this film is it really balances comedy and drama like uh, really mm -hmm. well. You're having so much fun watching these characters, but you're also, along the way, getting to know them on a deep level. Um, and there's so many characters, too, that we they all have their own little um, pocket in the movie and their own little story to tell. Uh, so I think it's beautiful. I think everybody has somebody or something in the movie that they can grasp onto and that, uh, that aligns with their own life or aligns with their own feelings. Um, yeah, so family is a huge, huge theme in the movie.